if you're anything like me, you really like to create things, you like to write stories, you like to make comics, you like to draw, you like to do creative things. But have you ever asked yourself why you like to do those things? Donkey, Donkey Job Projects! projects. What's up, everybody? This is Marshall Lee of Donkey Jaw Projects. And I was just thinking about the question why. It's a really important question. Um, and I know it's like even just in general, like one of the most important questions you can ever ask is why. Um, why do you do something? Like I remember growing up and going to school and all that. And, um, you know, there would be like math or whatever and it just was so boring it was not in any way interesting to me or history was kind of not it was more just learning facts and spewing them out for a test it wasn't really exciting or anything and so but I, I realize now as I've gotten older that if I had more answers as to why this is it should be interesting and important to me I probably would have been more interested as a kid because I do did actually like school when it was engaging like English class was something that was more engaging to me um, and, and other classes uh, but that but those classes weren't so much and now I think math is awesome and I wish I had somebody to teach me who could show me more something more about it and like history I remember I learned a lot more in, about history in English class because you know, in English class, I, we would read things like um, Night by Eli Wise Wiesel, or um, there was a book on, on um, the, uh, the atomic bombs dropping and stuff. And in that, those um, books, you know, they showed the context of what was going on, not just a bunch of facts that were cold and boring. Um, so I got to know more about the why, and it hit home more, and I learned so much more by... Um, those books than I did in actual history class. I don't really remember much from history class. Um, and, and I mean, how awesome is math? Like, like math, I don't know, like there's so much cool, I don't know that I'd ever become a mathematician so much, but I would just, I would definitely have been more interested in, in, um, in understanding, like if I knew that understanding math helps you to think more logically, if I even knew that, you know, or if I knew like, just some of the cool things that can be done with math. Um, I mean, if I knew how science work and, and just observing, you know, nature, um, understanding math can help you to observe nature in an even more deep and awesome way and just things like that. Um, I think that I would have been more interested. Um, so knowing the why is a big deal and <clears throat> I kind of want to put a question out to you guys, but one thing I was thinking about, and this is also goes like when you're writing stories, like the, the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm thinking a lot about writing stories. I've been reading this cool book called Story Genius, and it really goes deep into this kind of um, idea and thought. And if you've ever read the book Invisible Ink, it's really cool. Um, and it it's similar it's similar to that book, but it even goes uh, even deeper into what makes stories tick and how to how to put together a story that really um, resonates with people and things like that. And uh, you know, I just want to give a shout out to my buddy Eddie Crosby. Um, I did an interview. I'll put a link. I did an interview with him a while back on my podcast, and he's just an amazing artist, and you should definitely check him out. Um, but. I want to give a shout out to him. He's the one who brought this this uh, book. He showed me about this book, um, Story Genius. So I also put a link for that in, in the description. Um, but yeah, so the so knowing why is a huge part of writing stories. Like if you don't have your why down, like why is your protagonist doing what they're doing, then you don't really even have a story. Um, so, anyways. That being said, I was just thinking about the why, like, why do I create and stuff? And I've thought about this a lot in my life, and I can never seem to figure out exactly why I do. Like, I, I don't know. I can think of some reasons why, and and I, I keep, like, looking at other creators to see why they do their thing, and maybe that resonates, resonates with me. 
Um, and, you know, some things that I've seen were like, um, like, uh, some people say like, I'm on like a bumpy road here. <laughs> um, some people say that why they do it, like, especially when it comes to writing is they wanted control, um, like they didn't have a lot of control in their life. So in stories, that was a way where they could create their own worlds and kind of a cre more creative way of escapism but rather than watching, you know, a movie or something like that or reading a book, you could create something. So I think that might be somewhere of why. Um, I know I just like to create stuff. I remember, you know, seeing, um, you know, like the Image Comics guys was a big deal for me because they were creating their own characters which for some reason appealed to me but I don't know why that appealed to me so I'm trying to figure that out like why do I create stuff why do I have this desire to draw I remember as a kid I would before I even knew like how to write English and stuff I would uh, try to I had like this you know scooby-doo this scooby-doo like picture book and um I remember I would try to copy the letters, like the words and stuff, and I felt like I was writing my own story by doing that, and I was learning how to write, even though really I wasn't even probably copying the letters correctly. This was before I was in any schooling at all, and I just remember, though, that feeling of wanting to create, and even when I was in nursery school, I remember I was the kid who always wanted to just keep doing my art. I didn't want to go outside. I would ask my teacher or whatever they were, um, to bring down my folder I still have my art folder actually I should probably go through that sometime on a video that'd be fun but uh but yeah like I would tell them you know bring down my folder I want to do art you know and I always wanted to do that and I feel like part of my why has to do with storytelling but part of it is just pure making art so I'm I'm not really sure I don't really get it why do I want to do this there's also you know, I'd love to do it for a living, so there's that kind of thing, so, I don't know, I'd, I really want to put it out to you, create other creators who are, who do this as well, like, why do you create, you know, what, it, what is your why, and I'm trying to figure it out, because I think it's important to know these things, and let me know what you think in the comments, I'd love to hear what your answer is. And also, just a special announcement, um, I have been putting videos out on my patreon uh during the week you know one or two videos more or less uh every week just um chatting while i'm sketching and things like that and giving kind of sneak previews of what's coming up and just different insights that kind of the vloggy stuff that you know i used to do with 100 days of making comics but that's the place where i'm putting them now um for only a dollar a month now if you're interested uh, you can do that, or for $3, you can get that, plus um, a giveaway, uh, an art giveaway every month um, for some free art. So thank you so much to all my patrons on Patreon, and, and thank you to all of you for watching the video, and I hope you like it. Um, definitely please subscribe and like and comment and I'll be putting continuing to put videos out here on YouTube every week and um, yeah just hit me up let me know what you think you know why do you create what you create see you later